Hello everybody, my name is Dexter1, and I'm joined by Vile Moon as always. Hello. And we're here to play our favorite game starring everyone's green soldier. It's Halo. I it's... thought you were talking about Warcraft 3. <laughs> but it's not just it's not just one Halo. It's like six Halos all in a row. Get ready. Please, in in the halos. It's it's coming. How long has it been since you've seen a Scott scene? I don't know. It's all next genified too. Yeah, this is the anniversary edition. Yeah, so it's like actually, oh, that's a ship and not a gigantic blob of metal <laughs> heading towards <laughs> yeah. me. Gigantic unrendered gray blob. I will actually, like, when we get into the video, I'm actually, really briefly, I switch to, like, the old version. Because the game is actually, like, you get the anniversary edition and yeah. the classic version running at the same time, so you can switch between them. And boy. It looks like, it looks like what happens when a game has it, rin like, loaded the renders, yeah, like, the basically. textures correctly. Yeah. yeah. We made a blind jump. That is Captain Keys? Yeah. Holy shit! He looks so bad! Yeah, like... CGs... The CGI in this game, like the cutscenes, some of the cutscenes don't look quite right. They were waiting for us on the far side of the planet. So, where do we stand? Our fighters are mopping up the last of their recon picket now, nothing serious. But I've isolated approach signatures for multiple CCS class battle groups, make it three capital ships per group. And in about 90 seconds, they'll be all over us. Well, that's it then. Bring the ship back up to combat alert Alpha. I want everyone at their station. Everyone, sir? Everyone. And Cortana. Hmm? I like the guy in the back that's there is like poking friend. at random pieces on the wall that don't have buttons on. He's like, I'm trying to figure out how to get this thing off. Meow, meow. <laughs> Happy Star Wars Day. That was yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> May the f f 12th of, of December be with you. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna shoot down some ships with these fucking tanks. <laughs> I saw okay, it on a video. Hear me out. We're gonna load the tanks on a really big catapult. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get one shot. You heard the lady. Move like you got a purpose. This is not a drill. I guess he doesn't look so bad. Um, you're gonna see a shot of him in a minute that looks really bad. Jo it's Johnson, right? Yeah. Okay. Finish what the flyboy started. We are leaving this ship platoon and engaging the Covenant on solid ground. When we meet the enemy, we will rip their skulls from their spines and toss them away. When it gets really close to the camera, it's like, oh god, it looks bad. Sir, yes, sir! Mm -hmm. I like their mouth. When they are talk- when they were- when the Serp Marine said, sir, yes, sir, they- their mouth just opened and closed without any lip sync. It was just- bah, 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 bah. <laughs> This part. Like, with the light- when the light hits him, it looks really weird! Oh, no! It looks like he's got a blue glowing vein. Yeah. <clears throat> Unseal the hushed casket. Yes, <laughs> the guy on the right. Let's start He's got serious baby face. <laughs> Bringing low-level systems online. Cracking the case in 30 seconds. He's hot. Blowing the pins in five. Don't you hear it when you wake up from a really long nap in a cryo tube and a large suit of green armor? I hate that. Uh, I would just like to say, for the record, uh, that I have read the novels of this uh, of uh, Halo. Yeah. And uh, apparently, when you come out of cryo sleep, you immediately cough up all of this fucking like nasty gunk that they use to fill your lungs. 
Nice. And so basically, what you don't hear right now is Master Chief's Master Chief like, <laughs> 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 oh, look normal. No freezer burn. Okay, sir, go ahead and climb out of the cryo tube. I gave you a double dose of the wake up stim. Take a quick walk around the cryo bay and join me at the uh, yeah, yeah, Oh yeah, my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All I right. Mean, we could do that, but what we're going to do instead is going to go over here. Whoop. Hello. All and right. Cool. It's the nice. first one. So you're going to show off all the skulls? I am. And also let's take yeah. a look at what it looks like if we take a trip to the Oh god, no. <laughs> Oh fuck! No, no, no! Oh. Put it back! 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 Put it, back. <laughs> it looks like the game's textures oh. didn't load correctly. <laughs> okay. I know the ordinance text usually. Okay. Sensors, but we're short of time, Chief. Just flashing panels to target them. When you lock on, it'll change Well, I sure hope you guys like this part because we're gonna be doing this at least for. <laughs> At least five more times before the end of this long, long LP of the Halo series. Is that better or should I switch it back? No, please put it back normal ways. Invert controls are for strange people, and I do I do not understand people that like invert controls. This is where everyone's gonna come in the comments and tell me to fuck myself for saying that inverted controls are weird but it's strange and unnatural and I stand by dude, dude come on come on let's get rolling are you, are you done? Oh, wait, I'm, I'm ready I'm stood here on the fucking square <laughs> what's wrong with this story? <laughs> dude are you <laughs> so like All right. Shield read us. the thing Do we with need to, like, hit him with a wake-up stim? Jesus Maybe. Christ. So, the thing with the anniversary edition of Halo 1 is that the textures are great. The textures are amazing, but the problem is they're just kind of draped over, like, the old, old models, which is why it looks a bit odd at points. So you've got, like, this really high high res models very nice looking shadows and lighting and then you just got like this kind of wonky animation now and then oh god they're trying to get through the door uh oh security intruders in cryo two please sam sam come on we've got to get the hell out oh no not sam this way i ain't going down there fuck that wow you made a good choice Shake my head. He said, let's just go this way. Alright, let's go. The theme's playing. Or at least a bit of the theme's playing. I'm pumped. I don't have a gun, but I don't give a f mm -hmm. I'm gonna go this way. Help me, help you. Uh, no, this way. I won't give a dang. I'm gonna. Give me a gun! I'm gonna run through the. Oh god! That's. Okay. Uh, what? Uh, oh, he ran away, luckily. Into the fire? Okay. Into the fire. I think I've made that joke like 800 times. I think times you have, now. yeah. And this guy's like, follow me. And I'm like, I don't want to fucking follow you. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where the bridge is. I'm a child. <laughs> I didn't wake up yesterday, you know. I woke up three seconds ago. Yes. Yeah. I'm ready. I've had my, I've had my wake up baby juice. Two packs of wake up baby juice. Yeah. So I'm ready. Captain Keys. Seriously, Captain Keys looks fucking horrifying to me. It looks like his it looks like his lower jaw is like puffed out. Chance. A dozen Covenant superior battleships against a single Halcyon class cruiser. With those odds, I'm content with three. Make that four kills. Sleep well? No thanks to your driving, yes. So you did miss me. Why'd they give an AI a titty though? <laughs> Why'd they give AI the titty? I guess an antimatter charge. Ma'am, fire control for the main cannon is offline. Captain, the cannon was my last offensive option. All right then. I'm initiating cold protocol article two. We're abandoning the auto. That means you too, Cortana. While you do what? Go down with the ship? In a manner of speaking. 
The object we found. I'm gonna try and land the automobile. That is like the worst idea I've ever heard. You see that giant fucking undiscovered ring thing? I'm gonna land this fucking giant ship on it. Protocol is clear. Destruction or capture of a shipboard AI is absolutely unacceptable, and that means you're leaving ship. Lock in a selection of emergency landing zones. Upload them to my neural. Not only does she have the titty, but she has the booty. Aye, aye, sir. Doesn't make any sense. Which is where you V A I Gina. <laughs> Please. Safe from the enemy. If they capture her, they'll learn everything. Force deployment, weapons research, Earth. I understand. It seems really weird that they just put everything on an AI. <laughs> that like there's gotta be like hundreds and thousands of other ships like this, you know what I mean? Yeah. That have AIs like this. So, and they just go, you fucking upload everything on it. <laughs> <laughs> Copy paste it all. Who gives a shit? Control C, Control A, Control C, Control V. Job done. Good luck. Here, take my video game. I don't want it no more. You can have it. Just shove it in your fucking head, you piece of shit. Hmm. Your architecture isn't much different from the autumns. Don't get any funny. I don't know what that line means. What's it means what? she was checking out our bod. Oh, okay. Okay, so. We have met with Captain Keys. He has given us a gun, and also we have paired with Cortana, who is going to be with us for a very, very long time. So start with our shooting things. As with most FPS games, shooting is uh, allocated to the right trigger. Throwing grenades is allocated to the left trigger. Melee is allocated to the B button, for this game at least. Other games have it allocated to right bumper. Uh, at the moment, Reload is set to right bumper in this version, which kind of fucks me up because I'm using used to Halo 1 and Reload set to X. Uh, although you can change it, because it, uh, it is the Mass Chief Collection. It's got a lot of customization options here and there that you can change stuff however you want. It's got a Southpaw control option. It's all good. So, uh, we're, just, we're gonna shoot some guys. Alright, sound? sounds great to me. Yeah. <laughs> he was peeking out like He's like, You see me? I don't know, I'm gonna hide behind the scene, then we're gonna and That's all he said before you shot him in the fucking mm. face. Um so uh, you probably noticed I'm using the pistol. I'm always out of ammo for the pistol. Uh this is cause the pistol is the best gun in the whole game. Uh it's maybe the best gun in all Halo games because it's tremendously overpowered. It takes about three shots, three like square headshots on an elite to kill them outright, which is that's ridiculous. No other gun Sir. can do that apart from like the sniper rifle, but that makes sense. It's the sniper rifle. So you're I playing got, on legendary, right? I'm playing on normal. Fuck, fuck, playing on legendary. I like to have a fun time with my LPs now, and not, like, scream and cry myself to sleep. Nuts and bolts. Yeah, anyway. Uh, right here we're using the the best weapon uh, combination, which is the plasma pistol. Combined with, like, pretty much, like, any weapon, it makes taking out elites so much easier because a full shot, full charge shot, with the plasma pistol, we'll take out an elite. Where'd that elite go? Dude, now move. He's gonna come round a corner. He's gonna fucking move. See, I told you. Look, he's here. So, a full, fully charged plasma pistol shot on an elite will take out a shield completely. So, that's why it's good to, like, try and keep one in your back pocket. And basically, what you do is, um, and it's a legit strat. I mean, people call it, like, people, people say it's, like, a newbie quote unquote thing to do. I try to pick up this health pack here, I'm like, oh no, I don't need that. Um, uh, but like, it's it's really, it's a really good strategy to have because it just takes out shields straight away and then all you need is a bunch of shots or one, one headshot with a weapon and you're done. It's a good strategy. I don't care what anyone says, it works. And if it works, then it's good. The reason it's a noob strategy is because it works. Yeah, that's why people get mad when you use it. It's like, oh, that works. And the thing is, pros do it too. 
you you watch like any pro Halo match, they will do it. They will use the plasma pistol battle rifle combo or the battle rifle. Shush, 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 not in this game. Which is a shame. Battle rifle is my favorite weapon. Anyway, we'll get to that. Got a pistol again. Got a pistol whip some people. Or just shoot them. See that? One hit. One headshot. He dead. I forgot how low ammo the uh the pistol carried. Um I think it's actually got quite a bit of ammo, but like the reason we ran out so quickly at the beginning is because like you didn't have a plasma pistol. Hmm? Oh you meant the plasma you... pistol? Yeah. Which pistol we're we talking about has got low ammo. <laughs> the I like how right now you're like or oh, trying to do it oh fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh I guess I'll just I guess I'll just use a regular pistol. And then I pick up no. the oh, and then I pick up the plasma rifle, which I use for approximately eight seconds. And I put it away, and I'm like, I'll use it in a minute. I'll use it on that elite. I'll go down there and kill him. Sure, the plasma rifle works. All right, check these guys out. All right, I'm gonna. Oh, okay. Well, that was a nice idea. Hey guys, what are you guys, what are you doing? Well, I mean, to be honest, the plasma rifle is not a very good weapon. What? Okay. Uh, moving on. The plasma rifle is uh, it's not bad. It's like it's not great. Also, that was like a great line of dialogue that we'll probably hear a few times in the game. It's just one of their soldiers shouting, "Get up! Get up! So I can kill you again." Um, the plasma rifle is pretty decent if you're up against like a bunch of uh, if you're up against a bunch of elites because it does deplete shields. Not as well as the plasma pistol, but the thing is, the plasma pistol will not kill anything on its own. And I've really only ever tried to use a plasma pistol to kill stuff if that's literally my only option. I'm out of ammo for everything. Dude, really? Come on. Like, you really gonna. You picked the wrong day to mess with me. Get out of here. Just. Just. Would you, would you stand still? Would you stand still? Yeah. <laughs> just hit him in the fucking head. Who gives a shit? But the plasma rifle will actually kill stuff. Whereas the plasma pistol, it takes a lot more shots to actually kill someone. So. Yeah, but the my problem with the plasma, plasma pistol is that it overheats way too fast. The rifle? You mean the rifle? The rifle. Yeah. The rifle. Yeah. The rifle overheats way too fast, yeah. and it doesn't deplete. And it doesn't do as much damage. Yeah, and you can't uh, pick up. You can't pick up ammo for it either. As well as the shots go wide really easily. Yeah. It's, it has a way, uh... It's kind of annoying in that it's kind of a short-range, long-range weapon. It's... They work it out in later Halo games, and also, eventually, uh, they worked out that actually you should be able to make it so that you don't overheat plasma rifles so well. Uh... We're too close. We need to find another route. What? Uh, okay. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna bust this door down. Okay. So. Okay. Wait. We need to get through that door, but it's been damaged by an explosion. Uh, what? No, Cortana. I think you're confused. I, I, we, we did. We did that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> got him. We did it. So, like later Halo games actually have plasma rifles that you can vent. So instead of reloading them, you vent them so that they don't overheat. Which is much, which is much better, but they don't get to that for several Halo games. It's infuriating. What's the first game that has it? It might be Reach, but that might be wrong. Oh, yeah. It might be earlier than that, but I think Reach. It might, they might not even be in Reach, but um, at least I know that it has that for a fact in Halo Four. Are we going to be playing these games chronologically, or Ooh, no? We're going to be playing them in release order. Which is why I was starting with okay. the other one. Where is he? I don't understand. Oh, was up there. Work, work, work. Work, work, Which, fun fact, that's just help, help, help backwards, I think. 
Okay. Oh man, that that got a terrible day. Who's he got? Like, he's got a shield stick down, then he had it. Oh no. Oh wow. I don't know the pistol's powerful, but I didn't know it was that powerful. It's ridiculous. So they, oh, dude, get, come on. So the annoying thing with the uh, flashlight in this game is that it's kind of, the way they mapped it out is that as, as if it's attached to the front of a gun. In Halo 2, it's like the light is on the side of the Master Chief's head. So in this game where the gun moves, the light moves, but in Halo 2 that doesn't happen anymore. And you don't really have many points where you really have to use the um, flashlight in this game and it would be a problem if that was like a real a thing you have to use a lot but you don't so it is, this is a small point of contention oh no I'm out of hope oh. now you see that you see that I charged the plasma pistol up accidentally swapped back to the regular pistol and I had like 75 charge left in it but then when I swapped back to the plasma pistol again it, it, it acted like I'd fired it, but I actually hadn't, so it was kind of a small glitch. You gotta be more careful, man. Yeah. You know what they... premature... It's a pretty old it, game at this point in 2001, that is... Um, yeah, like... 11, 11? No, more than that. That's like 14 years ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. Finally, we have grenades! I'm so glad. Grenades, We're free. grenades are a godsend in this game. Whenever you feel like you're getting into a tight spot, just chuck one of those things into the fray. And oh, we gotta go this way. Oh no. Oh no. I love this. Just get the fuck get in, in there, idiot. God. Good time to leave. Punch it. Ah, sir. Make sure you wear your seatbelt, chief, or you'll die. <laughs> Sir, I don't want to die out here. Look! I <laughs> like how he just put his hand on his shoulder like, he didn't actually say anything, he just put his hand on his shoulder like, I hate to tell you this. I hate to tell you this, but... <laughs> what is that thing, Lieutenant? Elefondo. We're landing on it. The Autumn! She's been in! I knew it. The Autumn's accelerating. Keys is going in manual. Do they know how mass works? I don't think so. Because, I mean, for the autumn to, like, accelerate that fast so fast. Oh, Jesus. If I still had fingers, they'd be crossed. Cortana had fingers at some point? Yeah, when she was the AI. When she was the hologram. Um, thought she meant really, real fingers. I was like, Cortana, you never had a real body. But anyway. You've been a ghost in the shell <laughs> this whole time. That's the end of part one of Halo 1. Part one, Halo 1. Oh my goodness. There's gonna I be can't believe it's finally beginning. There's going to be so many Halos. You guys can't even believe it. You're going to be like Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3? Yeah. All of them. All of them. That's all of them. Halo Wars? No. Yeah. No. Yep. No. Nope. We got to do Halo Wars. Come on. Just one time. Just one time. Just one time. We'll do, we'll Halo, do Wars Halo Wars once. once. But that's it. Alright, so that's fair. So join us next week. When we get into the meat of the game. For more, this yeah, is just get, this is just like the appetizer. We get to, to the Halo. Alright. Bye. Bye.